Okay, so imagine that we have the following problem. A ball is launched with some initial velocity, v0, at the origin, and you want it to land up here, so maybe it's a basketball goal, I don't know. And you know how fast your velocity is, but you don't know the angle to launch it at. So how would you find that angle? Okay, so we have the following two kinematic equations that have to be satisfied. The x and y is a function of time, and they have to have the same time. So t here is the same, t there is the same. So I know my y final, which is, I'm calling x and y. My, my, I, need, I know those, I know those. I know the initial velocity. I don't know theta right there, and I don't know time. So I've solved two equations, two unknowns. It doesn't seem like it'd be too difficult of a problem, but it kind of is. Uh, I tried I tried solving this in uh, symbolically, and I feel like I'd like to give it another try. But in the meantime, I want to do it the way I know how to do things, which is brute force. Okay, I can I can plot the trajectory of a ball easily. I can change the plot by changing the angle easily, and I can just see if it gets there. So that's what I'm going to do. So in this case, I'm going to have an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. I'm going to go six meters this way, and it's going to be one meters up. And I want to find out which what angle it, it launches at. Now, be careful, okay? If I, if I have too slow of a velocity, it may never get there, right? If it goes whoop, like that, it, there could be no solution. So that's a problem. Uh, but let's just go ahead and do this in Python. I'm gonna actually make two programs. The first is gonna be a program that just uh, plots a trajectory of a, of a ball, and the second will be to change that, and then we can go back and test it. Okay, so I am using uh, WebVPython, GlowScript. Make bigger, that's better, right there. So the first thing I'm going to do is just plot the trajectory of a ball. So uh, I'm actually going to make two graphs, so, well, two plots. So I'm going to make a graph um, in Python, in GlowScript. It's really easy. I need to give it a title. I don't need to. I want to give it a title. Um, y title equals Y. It's a trajectory plot, X versus Y. Now, you do want to put the width and the height. Otherwise, it usually ends up being too big. Well, it's too big for me. It's too big for the video. Now, I want to uh, plot two things. Number one, I'm going to call it F1. It's a G curve. This is going to be the trajectory of the ball. Color equals color dot blue. And then finally, I want to put a dot for my target. So I'm going to call it FT for the target. And it's going to be uh, G dots. Just going to put a dot. Uh, color equals color dot red. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start putting in some of our values. V0 equals 10. Um, XF, I'm going to call it, is 6. YF is 1. Uh, G is 9.8. Um, X0 is 0. Y0 is 0. Okay, so let's go ahead and plot that final target position. So I'm going to say FT.plot XF yf and that's that okay let's just run this boom that means that's a dumb plot but it's important to do things like that just to make things sure things are working okay so let's go back over here i should probably save the code um test trajectory i'll give you the code because that's what i do okay so now what I want to do is to pick a, a, an angle. So let's say if theta equals uh, 45 times pi divided by 180. I, I need it in, in radians. Uh, and I'm going to just throw the ball. So I'm going to start with y equals 0, uh, even though I don't actually need that. So let's just throw the ball until it gets back down to the ground. So I'm going to say while y is... Uh, greater than or equal to zero. If I just do greater than, it's never going to get there because I start at zero. Uh, so now I need to count that the y position, the x position, oh, I need my time and my time step. So let's put t equals zero, dt is 0 0.001. Okay, so I need to calculate my y. y is y0 plus v0 times sine of theta times t minus 0.5 times g times t squared. Boom x equals x0 plus v0 times cosine theta times t. That's it. Uh, now I'm going to plot that point and then change time. So I'll say f1.plot xy and I'm going to increase time t equals t plus dt and that should do it. Now I, I've picked an angle. It's not going to 
It could hit the target. Okay, I could just get lucky. So let's just run this. Okay, so there's my target. It went it went too high. So, you know, I could just at the this is what I love about Python. There's nothing wrong with saying, well, what if I go up here and I just say, okay, I'm gonna change my angle to 25. Okay, now it's too low. I'm gonna change it to 20 to 30. Okay, now it's, too, it's like pretty close. Uh, so 29. This There's nothing wrong with the solution. That's close, close enough. Okay, so the 29 degree angle, I hit it. I'm pretty happy. Um, could there be another angle? I think there probably could be. Let's see if I put uh, 77. I just picked a number. Too short. Uh, so let's try 57. I, I suspect there's two angles. Okay, so 67. Okay, so there is going to be one. I need a little bit higher. Let's say 71. Okay, so pretty close. Okay, that's fine. So now let's make another program. And I'm going to go up to here. Uh, oops. It does that. Okay. New trinket. Glow script. Python. Okay. So in this new program, what I want to do is to um, start with my velocity start with my final position and find out where it ends up when it gets to the final x position. What's the final y position? And I'm going to, if I start with y equals zero, I mean, uh, theta equals zero, it's not going to, it's not going to be there, right? It's, it won't give a value at all, which is kind of weird, but I just keep increasing that value of theta until, until I get that angle where my final y is my target y. Okay, so let's start off with the parameters. V0 equals 10. Uh, X final equals 6. Y final equals 1. G equals 9.8. Now I want to make a function. This function, I'm going to give it my theta. And it's going to return the final Y position. Okay, and I don't do the best functions, but that's fine. So let's call this uh, Y final. And I'm going to give it uh, T theta. Because I want to be, I want to, I don't want to reuse theta more than once. Oh, I need to put a colon there. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, um, I think I can put this up here. X zero equals zero, Y zero equals zero. So I need to start with X equals zero, Y <coughs> equals zero, um, T equals zero. I don't actually need that. I actually do. DT equals zero point zero zero one. Okay. So now I can just say, uh, I'm going to use this global XF, which is a bad idea, but I'm going to do that anyway. So I'm going to say while X is less than XF, right? So I'm going to just run this until my X value is equal to XF. And it's going to get there. It's going to get there eventually. It may not get there before it hits the ground, but it's going to get there. Uh, so now I just need to do my normal projectile motion thing. Y equals Y0 plus uh, V0 times cosine of times sine of T theta. That's my temporary theta times T minus 0.5 times G times T squared. Right? And I should, yeah, that's fine. So T theta is the one I pass to the function. Now I'll calculate my X. X equals X0 plus V0 times cosine T theta times T, that's it. Uh, and T equals T plus DT. Okay. So then once that's finished, once it's finished with a loop, I'm gonna return uh, YF, Y. Okay, so let's test this. So let's just say print um, Y final uh, for 45. So 45 times pi divided by one divided by 180. That's a 45 degree angle. Let's just see if it gives something uh, useful. 2.47. Okay, let's go back over here and check. It's always good to check. Uh, I'm going to put theta at 45. I'm going to run this and miss the target. But 
when y is equal to 6, 2.47 right there. So it, it agrees. So it looks like it's working. That's good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this function until I get the, the number I want. So let's say theta is equal to 0, d theta is equal to 0 0.01. Um, and let's just say y thin, I need a, a start value, y, the final y is 0. And now I'm going to say while y thin is less than or equal to yf. Then what I want to do is to number 1, calculate my new y thin. So I can say y thin equals y final theta. And now I'm going to increase my value of theta. Theta equals theta plus d theta. And that's it. Print theta equals theta times pi times 180 divided by pi. Just because I like I, I think in I think in degrees. I'm a degree thinker. I don't know about you. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so I get 29.793. Now I'm going to go back to my other program. I'm going to put that in right here. Oops. And let's run it. And it missed. Why did it miss? Um, I guess it could have missed because let's actually do this. Theta minus d theta because it went one step too far. No. Keep that there. I want to go over to here and do print theta minus d theta, which is this point I could have done in my head, right? Okay, let's see if I use this value right here. It's close. I think I might just have something weird going on. I still didn't quite hit it. Um, 6, 10, 9.8, 0, 1. Just seeing if my initial values are 6, 1, 10, 9.8. V0. Hmm. Let's put this at point 0. Let's do that. Okay, there. I made my theta smaller. I use that one. My step size. Okay, boom, nailed it. Now, let's find that second angle. Let's see if we can find it. Because what if I go over here to this program? Now, I had 28 something. So I'm going to start with theta as 29. And let's see if it finds another one. Um, and this is dangerous because it's possible that, uh, let's put this. If theta greater than pi over 2, then y fin equals 5,000 or over 5,000. Okay. That way it'll give me an out, right? Because imagine it didn't hit and I keep increasing the angle. I'm never going to get it. I mean, I should get it. But uh, I want to make sure that I, I don't just keep running forever because that does happen sometimes. Like now, I messed up. Ooh, what did I do? Okay. Well, I. I crashed that one. I didn't save it either. Okay, well, that's fine. We we kind of did it involuntarily. I, I don't I did that code too fast. I put it into a loop and I feel very embarrassed now. So I'm going to stop. Uh, but I'm going to show you that it does indeed work. Uh, building this function to find that angle that launches that, and that's one way you can do it with uh, a new, with the numerical calculation brute force way. I'll give you the link to those two programs down below. I'm going to fix it so it doesn't run forever because it'd be embarrassing.